Embracing the newness of Christ. Are you holding on to old ways that no longer serve your spiritual growth? Discover how Jesus calls us to break free from outdated traditions and embrace a life of transformation. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. The Gospel of Luke, Luke 5, 33 to 39, offers profound spiritual insights that can motivate, teach, and illuminate our lives as Christians. At the heart of Jesus' response to the scribes and Pharisees is the idea of newness. The Pharisees and scribes were holding on to old religious practices and structures, focusing on external rituals like fasting. Jesus' point is that his coming brings something entirely new. He is the bridegroom who has come to inaugurate the kingdom of God. In his presence, there is no need for fasting just as wedding guests do not fast while celebrating a wedding feast. For Christians today, this speaks to embracing the newness of life that Christ offers. Just as the new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins, so must our hearts be open to the transformative power of Christ. We cannot cling to old ways of thinking or living that no longer align with the life Jesus invites us into. As St. Paul reminds us, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, behold the new has come. 2 Corinthians 5.17 The Christian life is about continual renewal and transformation, letting go of old patterns of sin, fear, and doubt, and embracing the grace and freedom Christ offers. Has the importance of timing and spiritual discernment, Jesus also highlights the importance of understanding the times. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. He acknowledges that there are seasons for fasting and for celebration, for mourning and for rejoicing. This teaches Christians the value of spiritual discernment, understanding what God is calling us to do in each season of our lives. Often we can get stuck in routines or practices without discerning whether they are truly needed for our current spiritual growth. Jesus invites us to be attentive to the Holy Spirit, recognizing when we need to fast, pray, and seek solitude, and when we need to celebrate and rejoice in the presence of God. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 echoes this truth. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. As Christians, we are called to live in step with the Spirit, knowing when to embrace different spiritual practices based on where God is leading us. Transformation over tradition. The parable of the new patch and the old garment, as well as the new wine and old wineskins, reminds us that true faith in Christ cannot simply be an addition to old ways of life. Jesus is not calling us to a mere patch-up job on our old selves, but to a complete transformation. His message is not meant to fit neatly into the existing structures of the Pharisaical law, but to bring a radical new covenant of grace and love. For modern Christians, this means we must be willing to let go of traditions, habits, or mindsets that may no longer serve our spiritual growth. Holding on to old patterns without embracing the fullness of Christ's message can stunt our faith. Jesus is calling us to pour new wine into fresh wineskins, to create new spaces in our hearts and lives where His grace can overflow. It is a call to spiritual renewal, where we are continually transformed by the Holy Spirit into Christ's image. A lesson in humility and openness. The closing statement about, no one who has been drinking old wine desires new, serves as a warning about the human tendency to resist change. Many of us may prefer the comfort of familiar routines, much like the Pharisees preferred their long-standing traditions. But Jesus invites us to be humble and open, ready to receive the newness he brings. In our Christian journey, we are challenged to stay open to the ways God is working in us and around us even when it feels uncomfortable or challenges our established beliefs. As Proverbs 3, 5-6 advises, 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Being open to the Spirit's guidance allows us to grow deeper in faith and align ourselves more fully with God's will. Conclusion A Call to Spiritual Renewal This passage ultimately calls Christians to embrace the transformative power of Jesus. It teaches us that true faith is not about adhering to old traditions or practices, but about experiencing a continual renewal of heart and mind through Christ. We are invited to become new wineskins, flexible and open to the fresh work God is doing in our lives. Through discernment, humility, and a willingness to let go of the old, we can fully embrace the abundant life Christ offers, becoming living testimonies of God's grace and love in the world. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.